Hi guys, welcome back. It's Piggy from the Paper Bumblebee. So I'm going to do uh, the five days of Easter 2022. Uh, day four and day five together today. And these are the pages I'm going to use. I have made a mistake in the past of telling you that these were freebies. I'm sorry you guys, unfortunately they are not. You can buy them in Kara's shop. This is day four and then this is day five page. And let us start. I'm going to start with day four. And as you know, I try to incorporate a playing card in each. So I've got two playing cards here. So I'm going to fussy cut out uh, this page for this is a collage, pa a collage page and I'm pretty sure what I want to do with this So I'm just going to cut this out quickly and then I'll be back Okay guys, so cut everything out And what I done off camera is just back this card with some uh, the backing of a napkin So let's do some inking and then we will be doing some gluing. Um, where's my ink? Just take some of these walnut stain and go around my card. I need my dapper. some inking on the background but then I'm going to do I think some wild honey it's gonna dab some on this block some water just doing some yellow for well Easter Um, just gonna rub the rest off on here. Sorry, guys, for the noise. They are working in our street and they are always this extremely loud. I don't know why. They're throwing stuff and. Anyway, so done that, and then I'm going to use. I used a napkin a while back. And I'm just going to use a piece of this napkin that's left on here as well. So, some glue. Okay, let me just get a little brush. Kitchen towel. Put this on here. Let me just see. Oh wait, I want the flower on there as well. And this goes all the way. Whoops, well, that's fine because I'm going to cover that up. Some glue on here as well. Then I was thinking of putting this little bunny on there. I fussy cut them out all the way. But underneath I would like to put some of this black thread. Yes. 
see. And then underneath here, I want to put some white thread. Just because I love texture. Some glue. Whoopsie, that's a lot. Okay, let's find another piece of the napkin. So I've got my little Mr. Bunny on there. Then I thought of putting with, yeah, this as a topper for the tag let's take that off quickly okay I'm just going to dry this for I'm ruining this now so I'm just going to quickly dry this okay so I dried it a bit and now I'm just going to take this off quickly I just said I covered up the little flower now but okay that's not too bad okay here we go then I want to put on some of these little buttons, I think. These are buttons from the kit. Where is that other one? Um, there we go. Okay. I also got, I think I want to do this one. I've got some real buttons I can put on. Let me just see what color would be nice. Oh, I've got a purple one. And then I've got... Oh, that's too, too much. Got some more pink ones. Maybe that one would be cute, and then maybe hmm. what else do we have? Just have a look. So I got some little buttons, real buttons. I think I'm gonna put on there. So let me just get some, let me see, tacky glue, I think. Glue those on there. Okay, so then this one I like like this. I can still back this up with some coffee dyed papers and then we've got like a beautiful little journaling card. Let me just quickly go around this again with some of the ink. Get a nice edge. And I 
I'm sorry, the little taggy. Or tabby, actually, not tag, but tab. There we go. So we've got that one. I'm not happy with this as is. Let me just get... some shadows on that little bunny If I'm busy, I can just do some black splatters. Oh, not on my bunny. Not on the bunny. On the bottom, yeah. And buy that quickly okay guys so this is my day number four and now we are going to start day number five and we're gonna use this page so let me just clear everything and start with day five okay guys so I've got a playing card I've got my page and then I've got this left of day four and I was thinking I want to make a little bunny doll so I'm just gonna cut him out I just need the face and then we are going to play with the collaged page okay here we got our little bunny so I am going to glue him on oh well trying to glue him on And this is going to be a little lady, although he looks like a little little boy. It's going to be a little girl, and I am going to make him a dress. And I'm going to use this page. I'm just going to take off all the white edges. And I think this will be way too much, but I'm just going to see what I want to use. I've got something in my head, and I don't know if this will work. Okay. Uh, I think I will be using this first. And just make some... Oops. It was a way too uh, wide, I think. Ah. That's not what I want. I just want strips like this. But then I want the whole butterfly. <laughs> okay, let me just see. I want a little bunny. Let's make it like this small pieces to one side quickly this one Let 
this one. Okay, so I've got my strips and then some more. So I tore everything into little strips. I got some little buttons and some pieces of fabric as well. Maybe I will use them. And now let's see. Um, got some longer ones and I've got some that are a bit shorter. And then I've got my little bunny. Now I'm just wondering, I think I will just cut this so that he has a sort of a neck. That was really weird. Okay. And then I wanted to make him or her actually a dress. I want to start with the shorter ones and let's see it's a bit wide oh I love this one little bunny okay so I thought something like this and then The long ones I can do like a second layer. Oh, I don't want to cover my little bunny there. Oh, got another bunny. I want to do a second layer like so. Just going to have a look. Shift it a bit down. in need of a little neck I think okay like so and then I can put some fabrics in between if I want to these are a bit long let's see and I want to make them a bit narrower I think a bit shorter so I can just put them in between I just want to see on the top something like this mm. could maybe even use a little bow or something for the or make it like a scarf or bow or something in there and then some more fabrics shorter that's the the idea Putting some fabrics in between. I've got this as well. And then another one. Bottom there. Okay, anyway, gonna sew that and then when I'm done, I was thinking of putting some buttons here and there as well. So then I've got this little bunny 
um, paper doll. Just thinking if I should. Yeah, I'll think a bit down. Like so. So I'm just gonna sew this and then I'll be back. So I'm just gluing them first and I thought I will just show you how I do this. So I put some glue on here. This I've glued down. And I'm just going to do the same on this side. Just get some papers on there. And what I've done I trimmed the car just a bit more so that it's narrower than it was. Well, I thought it was odd shaped. I didn't like it. So this we can cut into shape just in a bit. I just wanted to take you along while I'm doing this. Ah. Take this and glue this a bit different. Sorry, just watching if there was someone at the door. Um, going to don't want to cover the little other uh, bunny. Um, okay, now I've got the fabrics I'm going to put in between. We use the fabrics, sweet fabrics again. Just making this a bit narrower. There we go. Just want to put some glue on there. Put that underneath there. Something like that. So I'm going to sew that. And this one I will do last. And do it like something like this. And make a little bow. On there. So I'm just going to sew this quickly. I'm just going to go randomly up and down. Zigzag and straight. So... I'm going to take some off here. Just going to do that so that it will all stay together. There we go. There's Mrs. Bunny. So I wanted to put, I don't know, this on as a bow, I think. Or. Should I just do it like really around his neck? Oh, that's cute. And then maybe fasten it with a little button.
with that or with Okay guys, so I took a needle and I've got some black thread. I thought I'm not gonna show you me struggling getting the thread into the needle. So I've done that off camera quickly. I just wanna put this a bit lower like so. And then I think I'm gonna put that like so, but I want to get this what shorter the side and the side what longer. Something like that. I'm just gonna make a little knot. Okay. So now I have to go through the card. I'll just see if this will work. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. Get that little button. There we go. And I'm just going to make a little cross. Let's find a hole, there we go. And one more time. Just gonna well, this is the back. Just gonna make a little knot to secure it. There we go, and scissor. Okay, so I've got this. And now it's sticking up. Why are you sticking up? I'm just gonna glue that down. I don't want that sticking up. I want that down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna glue up on some buttons. We don't want them. And I'm gonna leave the threads. They are annoying now, but they look great when I'm finished. They won't annoy me anymore. Let me just see some buttons here and there. Mm. And something like this. Let me see. Maybe. I think something. And I'm just going to glue them. This is on the fabric, so that will. Take the thread out underneath. That's fine. Glue this one on here. Okay. So there we've got our little paper bunny. Not a paper doll, but a paper bunny. I think it's cute. 
and you can just use them glue them in somewhere or you can back them up and then use it as a journaling card or something for now i'm gonna leave it like this or i think i will glue him in somewhere i wanted to share with you guys everything that i have done so we've got day five we've got day four day three i made these two taggies then day two i made this like file folder thingy and with a pocket in there day two and then day one so it's one two three four five so these are my five days of easter i hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did and i hope to see you again soon bye bye